Okay, great. Class, I have a very exciting announcement. We are gonna be seeing some new faces around here because we're launching a brand new program where underprivileged students are gonna to get to attend McKinley Prep. Sorry, is this history class? Yeah, you're in the right place. Oh, you must be Isabel Garcia. You just moved here from Mexico, right? Si. <laughs> Great. I guess they're just letting anybody in. <laughs> Okay, great. Why don't you take a seat right there? Welcome to McKinley Prep. <laughs> we were actually all just deciding who's gonna bring what for Cultural Appreciation Day. Is there a dish that you would like to bring, Isabel? I can bring tamales. Oh, that's perfect. That sounds disgusting. No one's gonna eat those. <laughs> What is that? These are tamales. Why do you say it like that? Tamales. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're bringing to Cultural Appreciation Day. You'll probably scare everyone off. Or give them diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that your dad? No, why would you even ask that? You don't have to get so offended. Try to contain that hot-blooded Latina energy, Chica. I was just saying, uh, wouldn't be surprised if he was. I mean, isn't that what your people do? Yeah, they're all like cleaners and laborers, right? My dad isn't a janitor, he's in agriculture. Mm, that checks out. Farmer, laborer, same thing. <laughs> My dad owns one of the top restaurants in the city, and we wouldn't be caught dead serving the crap that you're eating. <laughs> ¿Qué tal tu primer día en tu nueva escuela, hija? No quiero hablar de eso. ¿Podemos subirnos ya al coche e irnos a casa de la abuela? Pero... Um, te fue tan mal. Mira, hija, ¿qué pasa? You haven't said anything the whole car ride. I just hate it here. Why did we have to move to the States? I want to go back to Mexico where I actually have friends and fit in. Mija, I know you miss Mexico. I do too. But your father, he had to come here and be with Abuela. With all the health issues she's been having, he has no choice. Mira, you haven't seen your Abuela in a really long time. Before we go in, can you please, por favor, put a smile on your face? Sonríe? Si? My special tamales. Oh. Andale. Huh? Así. Gracias. Andale. Ay, gracias. I don't want any. No seas malagradecida, Isabel. No es por ser malagradecida, es que no tengo hambre. Nonsense. Desde cuando you don't eat your abuela's tamales? Oh, I almost forgot. A ver. I made dessert. Tres leches. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You know the rules. No dessert until you clean your plate. Mm. ¿Verdad, mija? Mmm. Mm. Qué delicioso. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That's the Isabel I know. Ay, voy a estar canción. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, looks like you guys didn't miss me, though. <laughs> Mmm, qué rico huele. Abuela made tamales. You can have Isabella. She's not hungry. Gracias. No, no, Perfecto, no, 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 ya dijo que nada que era para mí. No. <laughs> Hola, madre. Hola, mi amor. Uno nomás. Ah, entonces sí me voy a comer Isabella. Ya no va a querer tantita más.
Isabel, espérate. You forgot these. Maybe you can invite some of your new friends to our Cinco de Mayo fiesta. I don't have any friends. And even if I did, I don't think anyone hears into that kind of thing. Well, you never know. Just take them with you, yes? See? ¿Sí? Ten lindo día. Bye, hija. And then in 1846, the U.S. declared war on Mexico, leading to the Mexican-American War. And this conflict resulted in the U.S. occupation of California and New Mexico and Texas and other territories. Who can tell me what the name of the treaty was which ceded California and other Mexican territories to the U.S.? Isabel. Um... I actually don't know. Oh. <laughs> it was the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, and it was signed in 1848. That's correct. Thank you, Sarah. Well done. Wow, I thought you were Mexican. How do you not know your own history? That's like, so sad. No wonder you left, but they didn't want you there. Too bad we don't either. Hey there. Do you need any help? <sighs> the roots of the Mexican-American War can be traced back to what revolution and how did it impact the relationship between Mexico and America? <laughs> well, that would be the Texas Revolution from 1835 to 1836, during which American settlers in Texas rebelled against Mexican rule. Uh, and then they established the Independent Republic of Texas, which ultimately led to Texas being annexed by the United States in 1845. Now, this led to tensions with Mexico, which still considered Texas part of its territory. Wow, well, you know a lot about this, Luis. Are you Mexican? Yes, actually I am. Ay, qué gusto me da hablar con otro mexicano. ¿De qué parte de México es su familia? <laughs> I don't actually speak Spanish. Oh, look at that. Isabel, are you applying for work already? Might not be such a bad idea to get a jump start to being a cleaning lady. Yeah, I'm sure your <laughs> farmer dad could use all the extra help he can get. You know, nobody's gonna want to go to your little Cinco de Mayo party. It'll probably be super lame. Let me guess, the venue is a shack with some pinatas? <laughs> Don't let those girls get to you. I'm sure a lot of people would love to go to your party, including me. If you want me to say something to them, I... I, uh, are you gonna be performing in the talent show for Cultural Appreciation Day? No, I don't even know what I would do. Oh, well, can you salsa dance? I think you should do that. Why? So those girls can keep making fun of me? I think I'll pass. Who cares what they say? At least go to the rehearsal. You don't have to commit to performing. Obviously, I just had to bring food from my dad's restaurant. Wow. You know, he's on track to get a Michelin star. Oh, okay. that's so good. What do you think you're doing? Um, setting my food down. Not there, you're not. I don't want it anywhere near my food. The stench alone will ruin it. Honestly, it's probably better if you just throw it away, because nobody's going to even touch it. Whoa, Isabel, what are you doing? Uh, I was going to throw them away because I figured nobody would want to eat them. What? No, people will eat these, OK? Now you need to go and rehearse, because the show starts in one hour, OK? I'll take care of this.
Beautifully done, Sarah. Uh, next up we have Isabel. Hi, Isabel. What will you be performing for us? I'm going to be dancing salsa. Do you bring chips? Yeah, like the <laughs> what? Settle down. Settle down, please. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Isabel, I brought some extra tamales. Where are you running off to? Shouldn't you be getting ready to be on stage soon? performing anymore. Just take the tamales home. We never should have brought them in the first place. I told you, moving to America was a mistake. Isabel, where are you going? Please, just go get the tamales inside and take them home. I don't want to be here anymore. Isabel! Hija! Oh. <sighs> Isabel? Isabel, what's wrong? You should be inside. The performance starts in a half an hour. I can't do it. Why not? Because I'm ashamed, okay? Everyone here makes fun of me for being Mexican. Why should I get on stage just to be laughed off? You shouldn't be ashamed. <laughs> You should be proud. Do you have any idea how lucky you are to be Mexican? You say that like you're not Mexican too. What I mean is lucky that you got to grow up with family traditions and culture, Isabel. Not everyone gets to experience that, myself included. You see, my mom got pregnant with me while she was still a teenager. When she told my dad, he wanted nothing to do with me. He wasn't ready to be a father. When she told her parents, they were so upset, they said she either had to get rid of me or go live on the streets. It wasn't an easy decision. But she already loved me too much to give up on me. So she left. For a while, she was homeless and pregnant. Life was really hard. And she knew there was no way she'd be able to take care of me. So after I was born, she did the only thing she could do. She gave me up for adoption. I was adopted into a white family. They told me the whole story, but I never got to meet my real parents. So I never got to know anything about my Mexican culture or any traditions. And it made me really sad. So you see, your culture isn't something to be ashamed of. It's something to be proud of. I am grateful for my adoptive parents, but I never got to experience everything you did growing up. Disculpe, señor. Se quedó mi carro sin gas. ¿No tiene cinco dólares para que yo y mi hijita podamos regresar a casa? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't speak any Spanish. He's asking for five dollars. His car ran out of gas. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias. Que llegue bien. Se va con cuidado. Que tenga un buen día. That was really nice of you. I always try to help people. But do you see how lucky you are? 
To speak Spanish? <laughs> I wish I could do that. I'll explain later. First, I have to perform. Please leave them there. special performance by Isabel Garcia. She will be dancing the salsa in honor of her Mexican heritage. Look, Sarah, I don't care what you have to say because at the end of the day, it doesn't change how much I love my culture. Do you want to know what I appreciate about being Mexican? I appreciate the food, the dancing, the importance of family. I love the music and the fiestas and the fact that I get to speak Spanish and connect with others through it. So you can stand there and call it cringe or whatever word you want to say, but my culture isn't something I'm ashamed of. It's something I'm proud of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a cute speech, but you're still the only one and who brought these tamales. Isabel did. You do not have to force yourself to eat that trash. You know, just throw them away. I tried to tell Isabel that they belong in the garbage, but don't worry, I brought plenty of food from my dad's restaurant. Throw them away? Are you kidding me? No way, these tamales are fire. To be honest, no one's even looked at your dad's food. Everyone's going crazy over these tamales. Will your mom teach my mom how to make these? I want more. Sure. Actually, my family and I are having a party for Cinco de Mayo, if you'd like to come. There'll be plenty of tamales and other Mexican food for you to try. Heck yeah, I'll be there. So what if a few people like your gross food? You still totally embarrass yourself up on stage. Isabel, right? That performance was incredible. You looked amazing and this dress is stunning. Do you think you could teach me how to dance like that? I'd love to teach you. Salsa is a big part of how we celebrate. And actually, here, we're having a celebration for Cinco de Mayo coming up. And I can teach you some moves there if you make it. I'll be there. Thank you so much. Bye. You were saying? Whatever. Don't forget, you're still poor. I mean, you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the underprivileged program. Sweetheart. You were great. You're not gonna believe this. You know how we might get a Michelin star. And while well, the customers are always raving about the food, well, meet my secret weapon. Honey, we're back. <laughs> Look, I ran into one of my customers, Paul. I didn't know you went to school with his daughter. I'm so confused. Uh, how do you know Isabel's dad? I'm sorry, and what do you mean by customer? Oh, I mean, Ricardo's family owns like multiple farms all across North America. And he, he's one of the largest exporter of produce. Everything we buy for our restaurant, he actually grows. It's amazing. Oh, tamales. So you're not part of the underprivileged program? 
Not that it should matter, but no. You should see the house that we're having our party at. Really? Uh, do you think that I could come? Actually, this invitation is already spoken for. Luis, I'd love it if you could come to my party. You'll definitely get to experience Mexican culture. I'd love to be there, Isabel. Thank you. And I was thinking, since you're teaching me Mexican history, maybe I can teach you Spanish? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. You're teaching our daughter Mexican history? Mm-hmm. Luis is really nice. He's a really hard worker, and he has a really big heart. He was helping this guy earlier who was stranded with his daughter. Is that so? You know, I'm looking for someone to help me with the operations over here. If you're interested... Oh, what? Really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs>